Good morning, and welcome to Washita Mountain Living Podcast. It is Sunday, Easter Sunday, here in the southern United States. Well, I imagine it's Easter Sunday in the northern United States and Canada and, well, anywhere else they practice the Christian religion. Easter is observed. And I was just looking online. I'm like, why does Easter fall? I'm like, it could fall in April. It could fall in, in March. I never really even thought about it. But it's like the first... Sunday after the full moon, something like that. Let me look at the calendar because I don't remember a full moon. It has to do with the with the alignment of the moon and the eclipse and all this and, and that to determine the date. Whether that's an actual uh, day uh, that Christ died, I don't know. I'm not on here to talk religion. I know many other religions watch my channel. I don't talk about them much. It's not a place for YouTube. Unless you have that sort of channel. Well, I don't. Uh, I am not a believer in organized religion. By that, I mean I don't go sit in a building with the same guy that gave me a death threat the week before. Will not do it. Uh-uh. That's all I'm going to say about it. Doesn't mean I don't leave, live my life the right way. And we could argue for weeks over that. But you're never going to change my mind. That's just how it is, man. Let's move on to something else. But happy, happy Easter to everybody. It's going to be a beautiful day here. I don't know what I'm going to do. I do know I got to go get some food up in this crib. Because I ain't got any. Mm. And then I think just for the rest of the day, I'll just do a little... I made quite the mess out on the screen patio. There's cardboard boxes from the flooring. There's everything out there. So I need to do a little cleanup in there. I've got dangerous path to the outside door or to the door to go outside so i want to get you know that organized get the trash loaded in the truck take it to the dumpster before i go to the grocery store uh yeah putting the floor down generates quite a bit of mess uh thankfully i did not have a lot of scrap not much at all i would maybe cut off a few feet you know when you start one you want it shorter and you stagger them but then you can go back later and, and find those pieces and then they'll fit somewhere else. And that's what I did. So I ended up with very little scrap, which is good. But the pieces that I do have, I can take that and make something out of it uh, with the laser engraver. That is going to be a beautiful piece of material to engrave a design or something, a sign, anything you want on. So I'm, I'm excited to try to do that. But I got to get the laser engraver set up in its permanent place i bought the tent that goes around it i've got the vents that suck the smoke out those things will emit smoke uh yeah emit did i say admit or emit emit it, they emit they beep. <sighs> can't speak this morning <laughs> and it ain't that early it's 6 30 i slept till 5 30 it's like i overslept today so when I get that set up, I'm going to really buckle down and learn it. Uh, the people that set that machine to me, I did one video, and I'm supposed to do two, and they're very upset with me. But look at the mess I'm in, man. It, it's just happened that way. I really did not want to even do the review on the thing because I, was, I knew I wasn't ready. But when I get it set up, they will still get their video. Uh, it'll be even a better one because I will have learned it. You know, it's just something that I think I'm going to enjoy tinkering around with. And and I got something here I made with it. Meh. You'll see soon enough. So today, uh, yeah, there's really, I, I really need to start building a counter in here. That isn't going to take me long, but I don't have the 2x4s. There's no getting them today unless I was to drive to the city. I'm not going to do it. I did enough driving yesterday. Oh, man. A lot of driving. When you live rural, you know, that's just part of life. Um, a trip to Walmart or a trip to uh, any city, you know, it's 60, 70 miles one way. And you do burn up a lot of gasoline. Um, that's pretty much what I use, you know, gasoline on is when I make these trips. 
going back and forth to town that's that's no you know you don't just run to the store and get a half gallon of milk it's you know it's 15 miles to and 15 miles back and you know there's it's no quick trip but you get used to that over time you know and it's it's doable now if you live way out in, you know alaska somewhere yeah you have to stock up uh a lot of stuff you know especially like for winter now i did go buy another shelf i don't know if i mentioned that in yesterday's video i went and bought another shelf for the new pantry which is the old office which was the old laundry room which was the old bedroom it was originally a bedroom and the door to the bedroom was here right behind me i closed that off i added four feet to the bathroom going that way so the bedroom became much smaller and the closet in the bedroom is now the doorway to the pantry or the old office or the old laundry room or the old bedroom it's been all those things and, and you, mostly it's just been uh, a room to hold junk. But the new shelf I bought is twice as wide as the one that I had the current, you know, the current shelf I have. And so I put all the food that was on that shelf. There, there's still a little more to put on there. I put it all on that shelf. And it's like I got nothing now. And there's a lot of food there. So, but there's plenty of room. I'll just, I think all I'm really going to need is to move that one in there. And then I've got that black shelf, uh, the decorative type shelf, you know, it's a shelf. I'll leave that in there as well, unless I can find a place maybe up in the loft to put that. I don't know. Uh, I have 141 square feet of flooring left, so I got to go up there and measure. Right now, that's an impossibility because there's so much junk laying up there. Uh, if it's not enough to do that, I may take a trip this week to ollie's they should still unless somebody's came in and bought it all up there could be you know a few more boxes of it and they could have all the boxes of it and buy three or four more boxes so i i gotta say it's probably going to be close but if not i can always do the building the new building with it too so it it will not go to waste uh you know getting this place remodeled the the office the oh especially the floor it's kind of motivated me to keep going and going and going until it's done because i got to thinking and i've already been working on it for 10 years do i want to keep working on it for 10 more years you know i might have 20 years left that's it do i want to spend that whole time getting this place ready for somebody else no i want to finish it and then get my rocking chair put it up on get two rocking chairs one for the front one for the deck upstairs yeah if i have to install that little chair that goes up the stairs you know it's how fast it goes oh it's stuck it's stuck Then I'll install it. But I'll probably invent my own. I was thinking a big pulley. You get a whole bunch of sandbags. You know. Just a little bit heavier than me. And a little platform. And I just step on it. Pull the rope a little bit. And the sandbags rise up. Or I rise up as the sandbags come down. That would work. Yeah, that's called... That's called, uh, uh, you know, geometry or whatever, rig rigatometry. I don't know. There's a science to it. I don't know. I don't know. But I want to get it finished. Uh, today, I have to. I have to. I bought my potting soil. I've got to transfer those plants, them poor plants. Seed starts. I've got to do it today. Get out and till up them garden uh, tubs. And get that stuff going because planting season's right around the corner, man. Within the next 10 days, I can get planted. You know, I'm not going to take the risk of a freeze this year. I just have a feeling we're going to get a late one, even though it's like 66 right now. Yeah. 
but just the other day it was 28 two days ago it was 28 degrees see it's unpredictable time of year you never know what it's going to do they're calling for big storms tomorrow but then i looked at accuweather and there it's just said it's cloudy so man they don't know what it's going to do they really don't i guess we'll just have to wing it uh it is the stormy time of year and so um, you know a lot of things to say i just don't know Yesterday, we uh, went out to and did some electrical work uh, at Jeff's new place at Bobblehead Homestead. If any of y'all have never watched his channel, I'll put a link in the description. Well, most of you have, I'm sure. But I do realize, you know, a lot of people, local channels here, they don't, they don't take into consideration, you know, especially in a thumbnail or a title, uh, most of the viewers may not know who the hell Bobblehead is or whoever you're talking about. So you can't make a title with a specific name in your title because how are you going to attract new people into your channel? If you're mentioning, that's like me, you know, I went over to my brother Fred's. I don't have a brother named Fred, just using an example. Hey, nobody knows my brother Fred. So you got to generalize it. Uh, make up silly things, you know, to draw the people in. I don't know. These these podcasts, they, uh, if I pick a particular subject and put that up on the thumbnail, they don't get as many views as this, something like this. Now you watch, this one will probably, be, probably do better than yesterday's video, and it has no topic. And I'll come up with some goofball title. Won't be clickbait, just be a goofy title. Who knows? You got to get into people's heads, and that's hard to do. I mean, could you imagine trying to get into this head? You don't want to be there. You do not want to be there. It's like being in quicksand in a jungle full of moss in a thunderstorm all at once. That's in here. Hey, I, it's what I got. I got to deal with it. So it just makes what don't kill you makes you stronger, folks. All right, enough of this mumbo jumbo that didn't make any sense today. You guys have a wonderful day. Have a good Easter. Don't eat too much. Ooh, I, I, I can remember the Easter baskets with that big old chocolate bunny. The solid one, not that cheap hollow one, the solid one. Back when I had teeth, you'd just sit there and nibble on the ear of that rabbit. <clears throat> My brother once ate his entire basket in a matter of hours. And had a stomach ache for two days. We will never forget that. Jelly beans, I would, if they were jelly beans in my basket, those went out the door. Uh, those are the nastiest things ever created. But you know what I do like that a lot of people don't? Peeps. Woo, I love peeps. Peeps are good. But peeps would probably kill me today. So I, I refrain from peeps. I don't think I've had peeps in 10 years. We're going to keep it that way. Thanks for watching, folks. We will see you next month. Happy trails.